Amir Sims will go up against Armando Baycott for the opening tap, and we are underway from Little John, and Clemson controls the tip. Big shots are always in transition yep. defense. North Carolina starting five is the familiar one of late as Garrison Brooks gets on the board first. The senior about Amir Sims, the best player for the Tigers and a guy for through whom much of the offense will run tonight and much of the defense will be relied. And that is a drive and a take and a stuff. Get your feet set and you get ready. It's a better rhythm shot. Now the drive from Sims and Amir has his first basket. <laughs> I think I had a few of those that I probably brought upon <laughs> myself. There and beating the shot clock from the corner is Nick Honor. I'm even, in, I'm even inaccurate in my bibliography. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Amir Sims to the bucket in a sweet little reverse, and Clemson is up by seven. Oh, that's a great look from Clyde Trapp to Jonathan Bear. Walton feeds Brooks. Brooks turns around, and Garrison Brooks has scored all four North Carolina points. He gets position on another freshman, P.J. Hall. Sharp, just overpowering his fellow freshman in scoring. Really played well. It was another offensive rebound, another missed three and long rebound. Clemson, not necessarily a great rebounding team, and there's no rebound there when Amir Sims strokes the three. Uh, Playtech perhaps missed an opportunity to get it to Brooks inside, but nonetheless, they still get a layup from a cutting and scoring Dayron Sharp, who has a couple of buckets off the bench. <laughs> it's okay if you're not fair. I, go, I, I get it. <laughs> Here's Sims. Sims is unfair sometimes. Well, how about that book? Reese Davis, John Crispin with you. Clemson sold out for the sixth time this year. That means 1,876 fans in. They haven't shot the ball well of late. Clemson is out rebounding North Carolina. North Carolina is one of the best rebounding teams in the country, and Clemson is typically Ooh. out rebounded by his opponents. And Clyde Trapp just put him in the spin cycle. The games that we've seen over the past four or five games, this hasn't been the same team. They haven't played with the same confidence, the same swagger. And we've said it before this year with COVID and the, the postponements and all that, games being canceled. Clemson back quickly. Try to stop those bigs from getting that deep position, but another good pass, Kerwin Walton, and it's two straight triples from the Carolina guards. Snatched away by Clyde Trapp. That's a sixth turnover of the night for the Tar Heels. I don't know if any of them have been good turnovers either. That's big. I'm sure that was just a, a, an occasion that Seth forgot all about. <laughs> Seth doesn't remember any of the great victories he's had, only the losses like every other coach. Please look at the facial expressions of the, of the person who's getting called for the foul. You know when they're full of it, and they, they hold their hands up like, I didn't touch anybody. Look at and that is another elite Man. pass from Mir Sims, and Trap finishes. Clemson doing a good job of staying spaced. When you stay spaced, you drag that defense out with you. Then it comes down to making the right read. The defense gets hugged up on his man. Exactly what the Clemson offense wants you to do is lift the bigs, open up drives to the basket. Play tag for three, and he knocks it down. Players, we think we can fix all our problems. You do have to trust in the team. Caleb Love, and the tip and the offensive rebound in the second time. North Carolina, the eighth time this year, trailed by double digits in the first half, and they'll try to get things going early in a three right out of the gates from Kerwin Walton. Shoot it with a different level of confidence. So to knock that down, it's a good way to start the second half. Clyde Trapp had seven in the first half and makes Man. his first shot in the second. I actually refer to him as Dad Gum Roy. So the fact <laughs> that you haven't said time. it yet, the fact you haven't said it yet, I'm disappointed. Good feed and trap with another dunk. And now North Carolina and sneak back to single digits. And they do. They run sharp. Got a little out of sorts offensively the last few trips. There's high low there. Sharp. And there's double figures for the big freshman. That ISO opportunity for a guy like Dayron Sharp in the post. You've got to change the angles. That's not going to help you at all. That's just Garrison too easy. I'll never, never, I'll never understand how teams score on out-of-bounds underneath. I do. I, I would change the angles with which you allow the ball into the post. And, and if you change the angles, you allow help defense to get over there before you're beat. Time 14 minutes. Clemson leading by seven. 
And from the outside, Kerwin Walton has another three. Shot clock head to ten. There's Trap and one. How about the strong drive from Clyde Trap, who's just having an outstanding night. But then there are the purists who are like the charge. The you know, block is a great call. Like, uh, hate it. Harrison Brooks, a turnaround jumper. He's leading Carolina in scoring tonight as well. He's got 10 points, six rebounds. Shot on the way and a much needed bucket. Gonna get a quick break so he can come in and see if he can finish the deal. Leaky Black. Well, really applying the heat to honor. Hunter Tyson shot fake and another. And he knocks it down. That was good offense. That was really good offense. They had three good opportunities, and the last one happened to be the best. Just didn't get it to fall. A good transition opportunity for North Carolina. Three of the last four against North Carolina for the first time ever. Sims. Over the top Big. and a chance for a three-point play. And they'll run it down under two minutes now. All the way wow. to the basket, and is that kind of night? Al Amir Dawes, and Clemson's lead is 54 to 43. And this is just not really what you draw up. I mean, kind of desperate. I don't even know how that's possible. You ever see some of these shots and you just got like, he threw it up with his left hand. Holding Carolina to so far with 90 seconds left, 45 points. No, not at all. Not, not, not when you look at the size for Carolina. And, and Hunter Tice, another transition three. Hey, look, Sims was terrific, too. He had 10 points, six <laughs> rebounds, five assists. I mean, that was a win-win situation. And sharp. A absolutely. And anytime you beat another team that is superior than you in something, and in this case, it's North Carolina's size, it's Hunter Tyson. He's to have a great night with that mask on. He is Carolina's leading scorer tonight. The only guy in double figures for the Tar Heels. And Hunter Tyson, that's another dunk. And I think he's got all 16 of his points in the second half mountain transition give them some opportunities this is definitely a feel-good win the fact that you held North Carolina to 50 points but also held them to only 44 shot attempts that shows you're controlling possessions of the game